Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. We don't want to scare right now i'm going to claim the accolade of all out war winner move on to the main event of star clash and run the ones with the world champion and reclaim the title that i should have never lost and for the competitors that think that's not going to happen it's not going to be a destiny it's going to be reality so let it sink in leonidas is walking out all out war winner something. You left this backstage, bro. Yeah, but you're out here, I think it's Surge versus Jake Matthews one more time. One more time. One more time. They see they boo, but they know they want to see it. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, see, now they start clapping. <laughs> they we love to see it. They haven't been <laughs> fought, you idiot. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. at all at War 9. The Northeast Championship is on the line. Power Surge versus Jake Matthews for the 11th time. Yes. In Santa Calamity 8, we went one-on-one -on -one for what we thought was the last time, the final chapter. Mm -hmm. I have no ill words to say about you. This is strictly going out there and doing what we do best. And we let's face it, we already know that we're going to have the match of the show. Because no one else is going to top us. No. No. They're not even booing. They know. They know. Boo! You can boo all you want, but the sad thing is you all know we're right. When we get in the ring, no one tops it. Boo! What other competitors? People like Rocky Jackson, Prince Chandler, Javante Storm. I would boo too. They suck. They are fucking awful. Where are they? Where are they? they exactly. Are it does not matter about them because the only thing that matters is Redux. And at All Out War 9, whether it's you winning, me winning, we know the fans will win. And Redux will win. Once again, 
steal the show. Boo! Boo. <laughs> Please use it. Champ, before we get into all this, I haven't done this in a while. What's up, Benny W? Yeah, we did it! Yeah. Feels great to be back. Holy for a shit! While. Holy shit! Holy shit! All right. So I had to address the crowd because right now I need to get back in my stride because I'm going to be picking up a fight zone title soon enough because I'm looking at a guy that's staring up at the lights way too many times. So I do not see a challenger in front of me. I'm seeing a title holder. Oh, that's true. I am the champion. And I'm the champion who doesn't have to rely on these cheap pop tactics just to get them going. When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's just like when I faced against you for the undisputed title. There's no personal grudge I hold against you. There's no acrimony. I respect you. You're a fierce fighter. You've got a mean knee that's nearly, that's at, not even nearly, you can cuss the shit out of me in that ring. You got that first fall that day. You remember that? That's a nice go-to. That's, That's why it's a nice tactic to take this from you. Knockout. You remember that also time where you tried to do the knee again and I blocked it? You learn from these fights. Yeah. Every time I face you, I learn something new. But that's the thing. Every time you go into a fight, you got to show that you're not learning. You're not progressing. Because then they don't expect the one thing that they don't expect. Instead of me facing the sun, that sun right there gonna be you either knocked out or even worse with a dislocated shoulder and a submission just do me a favor though maybe i won't even have to focus on the shoulder just don't get a charlie horse this time <laughs> all right i'm just gonna see you in this ring saying no words need to be said what the fuck? yeah Next time. Yeah. Yeah. The besties are down on their luck. We haven't had a win in a while. Okay, we get it. We lose a lot. But at all out war, we will turn our luck around. And we desperately need that winner's pay. Only reason I can afford this software is because I took money from the fallen before he retired. I mean, he doesn't even need money anyways. He's like dead or something. Anyways, we may not have the odds in our favor to win. But crazier things have happened. I mean, Rocky got a job here. It doesn't get crazier than that. It's time to believe in miracles. It's time to believe in the underdogs. 
it's time to believe in the besties. So, I just want to get a couple things off my chest. This all at war match coming up. I want it just as bad as they do. So I've just been notified by Jake Matthews that I will be entering the all out war match because all of them have doubted me. And I am going to show them that I deserve every title match I've been in. And I'm officially punching my ticket to that match. Not only am I punching my ticket to that match, but I'm going to win that match. And when I win that match, I'm going to go to main event. Star Clash, main event. Ring around the rosy pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. All Out War, a match where many will enter, but only one walks away victorious. And that will be me. Now last year at All Out War 8, I won. But unfortunately I was not able to make it to Star Clash. But this year, I get yet another opportunity to take my shot at the main event of Star Clash. I'm going to walk into Wall of War and I'm going to leave the winner. And then I'm going to take that opportunity. I'm going to take that title and I will become your new undisputed NEW champion. And to those in the match, good luck. And I will see you real soon. <laughs>
for quite a while. We, we had the triple threat, but I've been looking forward for this one-on-one -on -one match. So I remember in season three, after seven or so months of you being gone, I finally got to meet you for the very first time, and you beat me in your first match back. And for no apparent reason, you, after StarCast, you set your sights on me. And I remember how that match ended very, very well. You took me over to that toolmucker over there and beat me so senseless that he had to call the match. Ever since then, I have been looking forward to getting my revenge on you. And no better time than to do it for the NW Hardcore Championship. Now, I probably wouldn't have had to wait this long to get my revenge if you showed up more. I mean, I think it was supposed to be Star Clash that season I was supposed to get my revenge on you, but you have made me wait for so long, Zero, and I'm going to show you how badly has been eating me up over these couple years waiting for this match. Mm. Yeah! It's just a damn shame that you're gonna have to keep waiting for that revenge. Because when all is said and done, at the end of this match, I'm gonna walk out with this belt, and your revenge ain't gonna mean a goddamn thing. Just like your lifestyle and your beliefs, it doesn't mean a fucking thing. Power Surge has already said it, and it's none truer. So you can come into this match thinking you're going to take this title back. You're going to beat me and fulfill your little revenge fantasy. It's not going to fucking happen. Listen, I am going to beat you. It may have taken me a couple of tries, and I may not have gone to get the revenge in that triple threat match, but you taking this title it makes me want this even more because i need that title back because unlike you when i'm in a match with that belt online i make sure that it's worth watching unlike you who's been kind of the bitch of redux i mean you played second fitter to rain man when you went after the world title you basically just let him do all the talking for you. You played second fiddle to fucking Nova. You're supposed to be zero, and you played second fiddle to Nova. You played second fiddle to him all season, just like you did every time you faced him. In that triple threat match, you played second fiddle to Jake because, let's face it, the fans were wanting a one-on-one -on -one rematch between me and Jake. You were the afterthought of going into that match, bro. It doesn't matter what these fucking fans want. You see half these people? Bunch of incest, redneck, fetish fucking freaks. It doesn't matter a goddamn thing what any of them want. I come in, I do what I want to. Have you say about me being gone for months. The first thing I do, I come back, I take your fucking belt. What's that show you? I don't need to be here all the time to kick your ass. Oh, wow. I have less the preparation time, but I still can beat you. Yeah, you, know, you really could have showed me something when you showed up to fucking Star Clash, but you didn't. And it's kind of interesting that we're about to do this at All Out War. You won that match, and you didn't do a goddamn thing with it. Little known facts to these fans. We were supposed to meet up at Star Clash after that, and you weren't there. I picked up the slack for you then, and don't worry. I'll be picking up the slack for you in this match, and I'll make sure it's worth watching for all the fans. And after I take this back, you can go off on another few month hiatus, come back, lose to like Leo or Sane, maybe get a win of few events later and maybe one day you can actually win the undisputed championship i know i've won the undisputed championship 
And I'm gonna do it again because not only am I gonna beat you, I'm gonna do the thing you never did. I'm gonna win the world match and I'm actually gonna go and have the world championship match afterwards, okay? You know what? You don't have to worry about going to face whoever's gonna be the champion at the time. You know why? Because during this match, I'm gonna make sure you can't fucking walk out. You want that match so bad, I'm gonna make sure that you never get a chance ever again. How about that? It's not a goddamn thing you can do when you can't stand on your own two fucking feet. Now can you? Let me tell you something, Zero. It doesn't matter how much I have left in the tank. Because I honestly shouldn't have done that triple threat match. And honestly, most of my special event matches, I was not at 100%. But I don't need to be at 100% because I will always give 100% of what I have left. So it doesn't matter if you beat me to the brink of death. I will keep going until I can't no more. And I am going to beat you this time. Because, let's face it, you can't do that like I can. We'll see you get tired after about 10, 15 minutes into the match. It ain't a multi-man match this time, so you're not going to be able to lay down, bro. Oh, Jesus. Almost forgot. Undisputed champion match one on one. So, first time face forward, I didn't even. And quite frankly, I don't think you're ready for it. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Oh, here we go. Savage, you are good. One. I have to see, I've seen you wrestle for the past year, and I honestly think from all these people, like we've seen Rocky wrestle for years, you know, Storm wrestle for years, and you have wrestled for not even a full year. and you're going here, there, and everywhere. You are really good in the ring, but it's just not your time. You keep saying you're up next, but that's just not how it works. Because, you know, I said similar shit years ago, and, you know, you can say it all you want, but that don't mean you're going to get this championship. You know, because I've talked a lot of shit in the past, and until I stop talking shit, and backed it up, it didn't get me anywhere. Because that's the thing, you did great your first few months. You beat everyone, but you beat every jobber. Until it came time for you to go into the big fights, and how many events have you won this year? If you're the big bad D Savage, um, I really am not scared, because pretty much you're the only person who's 
like the lower card that has a worse pay per view record <laughs> than me. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. I mean, wow. pretty much you, me from That's season three. Guys. You're talking shit and you're going nowhere. And that's the thing, I'm willing to insult myself, you know? I didn't do that good a few years ago. But that's the thing, I've had a few years of experience. You haven't had one. You ain't taking this championship from me. All right. You want to compare us, okay? Yeah. I've only been here not even a full year. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm season three you. Well, listen, I think uh, season five me... Everyone here would agree they would rather watch me lose in season five than watch you do anything in season three. You know, you mentioned that. Uh, you know, we are different. Uh, you know, we're very different people outside of the ring. We have different wrestling styles. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you where we're similar, you know. We're, he's face, the crowd, they cheer for him. Woo! You know, I'm face, the crowd, they, they cheer for me. Yeah! But let me tell you where that ends. They cheer for you because they're told to. They cheer for me because they want to. I can wrestle, and that is why I'm in the position I'm in. And I got fed to the wolves very early, season five, and I'm glad because I've taken all that experience. And it's just a matter of time before the pin drops for me to capitalize on it. And unfortunately for you, and very fortunately for me, that you have the title. Because let me tell you, this is going to be very easy for me. You think, look at what I did last month. I was this close to winning the Northeast Championship. And sure, then again, I come, come up short again. And I've taken everything I've learned from every one of those losses, and I've gotten better. And, that, and that's also something. I've been getting better. Everyone here sees it. We have all had the same opportunities that I had prior to me getting here. Every one of you had the same access to the resources that I now have. But I'm the only one that used it. You know, you can see such a big jump from Northeast Extravaganza to the season finale in, in my production. Everything is better. Why? Because I'm putting in the work. I'm putting in the work, and now I'm taking that championship at All Out War. You know what you have put in the work? You probably put in one of the most work compared to anyone this season. But the things that aren't true from what you said is, you know, you talked about the resources. You talked about being thrown to the wolves. And, like, early on, you were heavily protected early on. You faced the easiest people. You know how I many people got like a win streak that early on? That was no one. You see, th the thing is, from the gecko, they wanted you to be the savage, the undisputed champion. You've always been protected. But that's the thing. I do not give a fuck to protect whatever you're trying to build. Because I've been building for a moment for years. Main eventing, a star class lover show. You know, and that's something I know you want to do so badly. But it's been your dream for like not even you. Yeah, it's, it's not something I want to do. It's something I'm going to do. And you want to talk about me being protected? Didn't they protect you by having you feud with Brozo for like an entire year? What a protection. I lost most of those matches. And, and brain cells. Yeah, you know what? He and so did that. we want them. You act to me like I enjoyed it. But that's the thing, I went out there and I did my job. And doing my job got me here. And when it comes time to it, I'm gonna put in the work. I'm gonna do my job and you're gonna do the job laying down for the count of three. You want, uh, that's the thing. Everyone wants to bring up, you know, I feud it with Rozo. No one gave a fuck, I feud it with Rozo. Yeah, we feud it, you know, on the lower card. And I made something out of it. Everything you ins you can install me on, I turn it into the best thing I can make it. Rozo, who's literally throwing people on his head, we got people watching, we got people laughing, we got people enjoying what we did. We made a 24-7 joke title that was supposed to feature people like James Patrick into something meaningful. I climbed from warfare to war title. I worked for this. And yeah, you putting in the work, but it's just not gonna be enough because you're not up next 
and it's not your time. I'm sorry that you had to take the the longest path ever, I guess, to get to the Undisputed Championship. When I'm going to... I, I won the tag title, sure. I had it ripped away from me in two minutes. But I'm going to win the Undisputed Championship. And then, you know, I don't even think you need a rematch. You can just... You can go back to the bottom of the card. Do you think these people want to see me versus you at Star Clash? No, it's going to be me versus whoever wins uh, the All Out War match. And then we're going to put a spectacle on, and we're going to give the fans something they want to see. See, that's actually an interesting point. What is going to happen after Star Clash? You know, all the hype, all the momentum. You're up next. You're up next. You never had to defend a championship in your life. You never had to. You, you are living up to the hype for so long, but can you, once you win the moment? And I know that is something hard to do. That's something I've struggled with. And that's how I know you're not going to do it. Listen, you're right. I am up next, but at All Out War, I am undisputed. See, Ooh. it's finally something I've been waiting to see. You're not talking, sitting here in a bland voice, sitting here stumbling through your promos, which is something I can funny to make a joke about. I have a speech impediment, and I can get through a line better than you can most of the time. But you, you know, you have no passion I'm until now. You're always saying, "I'm up next," like this. I'm up next, guys. But now it's time. I see it in the eyes. You're ready to lose to me. To you? Yep. Bro, they would fire me before I lose to you. Oh.